Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We will continue with our SQL accounting system tutorial. In today's lesson, we will talk about sales module and we will start with quotation. So in SQL accounting, let's click on the sales module and you can see that we have seven transactions in total. So the first transaction it always be quotation. Sometimes uh, I do have a customer ask me, Brian, can I skip all the steps and directly go to invoice? Yes, you can. Or can I do quotation and transfer to invoice instead of go to quotation, then transfer to sales order to DO to invoice? Yes, you can. It's all up to you. It's based on your business operation. So um, when we go to quotation, same as what we learned in purchase module, when you go into transaction, the first thing that you see is a listing of all your transactions. In here, you can see all your quotations. So if you remember the quotation number, of course, you can use the quotation number uh, key at the first row of the column of quotation number. Then you can get your quotation. Cannot remember the quotation number. Then we click on the company name. Okay, you cannot. You want to use others as searching criteria. Just right click at any column title, field chooser, and drag. That means left click, do not release, drag out the field that you want to use as a searching criteria or you want it appear over here. And remember, when you see all this column, you can always right click the column title and export to Excel. Okay, so let's create a new, sorry, let's create a new quotation. So what we need to do is same, we need to select a customer, let's say Kitty. Why I can directly key in the name is because the focus is on the company name. If you tell me Brian, I cannot get the name is because the focus is now at company name too. So that's why you can clear off what you have keyed, then click on the tab button on your keyboard one time. So it will shift to currency another time, go to stop code uh, the uh, customer code and click on tap again it will go to company name so you key the company name if you cannot remember the full name click on the a over here one time so the a will be in the middle meaning let's say you type anything that will appear as any part of the company name it was you also able to uh, search for that customer so same things you go to your item Okay, and let's try out the Chinese character. You try out the Chinese character by changing the input format. Let's key. We look at here, we can see that the description now is at the focus. We click on the tab key, it will go to description tool. And let's tap the Chinese character. And you can see that you're able to get the item. Even you are using Chinese character as the input. Okay, so you can change the quantity, you can change the pricing, or you can right click on any column, do the few chooser things, and drag out more description. Okay, or drag out discount maybe. So you can see that the descri more description, if you have maintained under the um, Maintain item, you can add it accordingly over here. Open new things, click on the cross, then click yes when it asks you to save changes. So you can move the item up by using the arrow up key or move it down using the arrow down key or put in a new item. And if you want to remove that row, just click on the minus sign so it will re delete the record. Okay, so you just save this document and you can preview the document by using the preview button over here. Select one of the templates that you want. Okay, then the second button is the export button. You can export to other formats such as PDF. Let's say we call it Kitty quotation. So when you do this, you can find the quotation in PDF format on your desktop. Okay, it's over here. 
so you can email to your customer without printing out the document so basically this is how you key in quotation so as I always say if you know how to key in one transaction basically you know how to key in all transaction most of the transaction will be the same screen same way of input okay so if you do have time do drop by at my Facebook is facebook.com slash syntax technologies so help me to like my page and you can get all the latest information regarding GST and SQL over here and if you want to watch previous tutorial video just go to my website is syntax.com.my click on YouTube and you can get all the tutorial video for SQL over here once again I'm Brian from syntax technologies thank you